place. When I'm from the, the poor wolf. There's a book written like that. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. The wolf was bullied by the pigs <laughs> in one version. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave that back to you, sir. Also, this is one way to fight racism, sexism, ageism, age right? Don't assume that because a person fits your model of what a person ought to be, that you know what that person is all about. So it's about being humble and being open to learning about someone from the very first, first instance, as if you're a baby. So now I'm going to switch gears and begin sharing with you uh, four different creative strategies. What we'll do is we'll have four tables. Each table will focus on one strategy. What we'll do is there will be um, Toby, and Carolyn, myself, and Javier. Each of us will share with you one of the four strategies. And then we're going to ask you to apply it right away to build an umbrella using stuff you see in the back at each, at each table. So for example, each table will have a bag of materials you can use as prototyping materials to build with, including a, a stick. And so we're gonna ask you, once you've shared at your respective tables that particular strategy for your table, and then you use it right away in the, in the uh, employment of using it to make a, an umbrella. And we're asking you to make an umbrella that's either artistic whimsical or practical. Pick one objective as your table you can agree to. So that way, you hear something, and then you begin playing with it. You learn by playing with it. And the four strategies are very simple. Carolyn will take what we call morphologic matrix. It's an age-old way of using randomness to help you get beyond your preconceptions of what something can be. And Toby will <coughs> talk about combine a very basic and powerful way of creating new objects or services by combining two or more existing products or services. Javier will talk about variation heuristics. Heuristics are suggestions for you to look in a certain way to create variations of, a, of an existing product. Javier mentioned that briefly. And I'll talk about using metaphors and similes to help you come up with new ideas. So Carolyn, how, how should we divide up the class? Is there a 